instrument cluster, speedo dials. What else could we call them, Gary? That's about uh, it. Clock, clocks. Clocks. Yeah, yeah, I'll take that. There you go. Whatever you want to call them. Some people have written to us and say, mm, you have lovely clocks in yours, Simon. It's all LCD and and all that. It's not really real. It's just looking at a screen. But they've said, woe is me because I have these clocks. So I've bought some of these clocks. Now, I... I was, I was I bought these for a jag actually, but yeah. they look the same. I looked on eBay, found the base sport ones, but people wanted silly money for them. So people have said, can they fit a screen in the ones with these standard dials? So I, I don't know to be honest. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can fit the rubbish ones in my super deluxe auto bargain five liter supercharged. Sorry if I'm yeah. flexing and all, but. Um, <laughs> So I reckon if I could, if the plugs are the same and I can retrofit them in mine, then hopefully someone will be brave enough to have a go at fitting the screen in theirs. And no, you're not having my screen because my screen's going straight back in there after I've... <laughs> um, and hopefully if I don't blow anything up. I wonder if I'll get lower mileage. I doubt it. I think that's gone somewhere else. <laughs> right. We'll, we'll, so the next bit of the video now, we'll, we'll just have a quick look so we pretend that we know what we're doing and we'll have a go at... Uh, showing you how to remove your instrument cluster so this video will also do for that if you've got a problem or you want to remove your instrument cluster i did do it once when i had the problem with the most bus so i'll just remind myself and we'll have a look right we sort of worked it out so here goes first thing you need to do you're going to need to adjust your steering column towards you as much as possible and down as much as possible and there's a little knob on the side for doing that there we go i've been yeah but but yeah so that'll just give us maximum access in this space here is that light all right on the camera gary yeah yeah cool Fine. right okay so the next thing we need to do is to remove this large panel here so actually let me take the camera gary and you can do that so it was what was it we have to pull out at the top and then down at the bottom isn't it now ours is quite so you want to do that and then push it down to get those clips off because you've got those those clips at the bottom are coming sort of straight up into these these bits here, but the ones at the front are going straight. So yeah, like said, out at the top and then down at the bottom. But these ones are coming straight at this end. Now ours has been off and on about 100 times. So you may well have to have a good tug at that. It's not that Gary's superhuman strength. Right, take that. Right, so let's turn the ignition off. Okay, kill everything. I don't think there's any need to disconnect the battery. Um, right, we are going to disconnect what I believe is the temperature sensor. So there's a little press in on the back there. Take that out of the way. Okay, right. Now, um, I'm also going to remove this panel here. Can you? It's the same as that other one. You got, yeah, you got that. And it's just going to come towards you. Again, it's going to be tricky. And you're going to have to grip it underneath and grip it and go, yeah. Right, and that's got these four clips oh one two three four it's left one behind let me just show you there it's left one you may get this it's left this little one here and you if you get that if you have that whip them off there yours will probably be okay it's only because mine's been on and off like loads all right and clip that back on all right all right there you go clip that back on that looks all right right okay now what have we got to do we need a torx t20 screwdriver now don't we here we go we've got one in there gary Yep. Right, now you get back on the camera, Gary. Right, now I have coloured. I'm going to get my little red torch as well. Where's my little red torch? Yeah. Let's have a bit of... Yeah, you... you. Right, so let's start... I've coloured them in orange. Yours won't be orange. If yours are orange, you've bought my car. Right, then. So these are all the same, we reckon. So these are self-tapping screws. Right. <laughs> There we go, and I reckon they're all the same. Oh, Gary's got the magnetic tray. You flash, Gary, look at that. Oh, right. right, and then we've got one over here. Okay, on the, on the other side. Oh, see. Right, I see it, and the same again. Oh, on he goes. Right, and then we've got another one over here. Let me see if I can film and do this. There we go, that's not too bad. Right. Now, you may have an extra screw that I haven't got. I'll point it out now when I got the camera. So up in the middle of there, 
up on you. There, there, there could be one there. There should be one right in there. Now, I've, I've lost mine. So you'll have to find that. There's one right up in there, right? Then, right, what are we going to do then, Gary? Right, now this is this is the tricky bit. I think it's best to remove this whole upper shroud here. So, again, mine's been off a few times, but it's on some clips. And you can lever that off like that. Okay, and that's got that top bit off now. And then at the bottom... Oh, should we leave the bottom for now? Let's have a look. Yeah, now let's... Right, at the bottom here, this is hard, you might need the red light again. Um, at the bottom here, it, it, it's sort of gripping, and there's a little peg at the bottom here. And I think you can just pull this rubber up, and it releases that little... Can you see that, Gary? There, there you go, look. If we release that there, now you can see that's... And that's just gripping the end of that little... And there's the same on this side, you won't be able to see it, but you have to believe me. You just pull on that leather, rubber I call it, I think it's, it's premium motorist leather. Right. Okay, so that's ready to... No. Now, this shroud, the top, should come towards us. Okay, and it's on some little sliding clips. All right, and then if we work it, it should all come out like that. Now, see these, when you're putting it back, these little pegs here... You might need the torch, Gary. Um, these little pegs here go into little slotty holes in the top here i don't know if you can see those but make sure you get those in don't get them under um so they're a bit of a fiddle right that should allow us now to take this whole bit out right so let's have a look let's have a look we'll get it in the light so that's that whole bit now if you want to for putting it back you can there's some clips on here you can disconnect that bit from that bit which may make it easier or more difficult when you put it back together but when you put it back together make sure you get these clips on uh, it's a little bit fiddly take your time right let's chuck all that in the back gary only because someone wanted to all because someone wants to know if they can put this screen in right there we go right so now you can see the dash so it's held in with this 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 i will just explain you see these little holes i've colored in orange when you go to put this dash back in i forgot that it's got these three pins that stick out the back here that one two three make sure you line those three pins up with those three little holes there right right here we go talks t20 again now all these orange screws are all the same Oh, they got some... I say they're all the same. This one's got some little flashy older on it. We didn't practice this bit. This is, so look, that's got some little top hat washer on it. All right, remember that. Mm -hmm. But the screws look the same, aren't they? They're flashy, those. All right, the other one's here, though. The other one's same, the same one. Same on the other side. All right. Little top hat washer for your magnetic tray. Right. We're getting exciting here now. All right. All right. They look the same, guys. Minus the top out washer. Yeah. There we go. Right. Now, in theory, this instrument cluster, I think you have to pull this asset, pull that top bit down, right? Right, now, how much length is it going to give me on this before I get the wires? Fair bit. Now, we should have the most bus wire. Right, then, let's have a look. Let me see if I can get it the best angle for the camera. Right, here we go. That's not looking too shabby, is it? No. Nope. Right, so up here... What I it's not good for the camera, but good for me. Right, we've got a, we've got a connector there somewhere. Ah, oh, there we go. Right, and he, he, has he got a pressing in bit or a squidgy bit? Can't work out where that, where the bit we've got to press is on that one, Gary. It's not. Nothing to be on that little bit. There. I think it is, Gary. Where are you at? I'm going to out. <laughs> oh, no. All right, let me have a work that out. Right, we got it. Gary was halfway there. You've got to press that little bit in there, and then that allows this, this little rocket, and, and if you pull that, it should sort of eject. The cable so let me just show you that in a bit more so he's when you, oh you can't oh he's up there and it's that little clip there so when you release that little clip it allows you to do that 
boom, and ejects that one. Right. Right, and then we've got the other one. Where are we looking now? Oh look at that, we've got quite a lot of quite a lot of length, right? We've got the we got the most bus, which is the fibre optic bus. Right, which one that's there. Right, we've got a, a cable tie thing there. Well, we've we got the by, by chance, Gary, we've got this in the car. I'm not quite behind it, am I? There you go. Not 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 that elegantly done, but yeah, that's a little barbed fit in there. Might be better off just pulling it, but uh, yeah, they just pull. Right, and then we've got this little blue cheeky badger here. So yeah, you got to press that bit down at the top, and that's that. Right. right I'll go and get the other the other dials. I've left them outside. Right. So this is the one I've just taken out. Um, now this connector here looks the same on this Jag unit I bought, but I'm missing a blue one here, and we've got nothing here. And then on this end here, we should have the optical connector, the most bus. So it may be the Jag one, I'm thwarted for the minute, um, but it may be the Jag one doesn't fit. I maybe need to find a Range Rover Sport. But if you're looking on eBay for a Range Rover Sport one, if you find one that looks like this, right, or, well, actually, um, you, I need to take one of these out. I'll have a look on eBay, so if I can find one that's got the most bus connector and that connector, there's a chance it'll all fit, but you need the most bus connector because it is part of the infotainment system. Um, otherwise, we're pooped, but we'll have a look at that in a minute. We'll, we'll see what we can find on eBay and we'll show you. But let's just have a look for the banter. Whether this one will work with just what will work with that one connector. Do you reckon it's all going to go bang? Let's have a look. Let me put that one connector in if it fits. Might not even fit. You're trying to put the original one back in? Yep. No. <laughs> Busted. Oh, I get confused on my own. Right then, here we go. Right, here we go. Let's have a look. Right. Let's try this one, Gary, shall we? Which way round did it go? Oh, one, one, wrong way round. This kid ain't got a clue what he's doing. There you go. Well, well look, he's in. All right, he's in. Let's have a look what he does. The infotainment system will be a bit upset. It, it's not the same mounts either, look. But we'll have a look. We'll gloss over there, see what it does. All right. Or oh, is it not even going to let me power up? Mm. We got the key. Unlock. Yeah, so it may even be coded to your car. We'll try and see what else we can get. But so far, that video, we're going to have a look on. Let's go and have a look on eBay. But we may have to stop that that video as a as a no go. But let's have a look. Right. So I've found this one for sale on eBay that says it is a Range Rover Sport L494 instrument cluster, and we can zoom in and look at the pictures. Now that to me looks exactly the same as the one we've got from the Jag. If you look at these these holes here, you've got the three holes, all this looks the same. Um, but let's look at the next picture and look at what it looks like on the back. Unfortunately, I've only got the one, but it's got the green plug. It's got the green plug. It hasn't got the blue plug here that we need. So I think that it is not possible to upgrade the early ones because you are. it's not part of the most bus. Um, so you don't have all the all the information system connected to you because mine tells me what track and all that it comes up on the screen so i think if you've got the non i'm happy to be proved wrong and put it in the comments below but take your dash out if you've got it and if you haven't got the blue connector and the the fiber optic connector on the side it's not going to be possible to upgrade it you can probably upgrade it to a jag one um but i can't see the benefit in that the jag one does look the same as the land rover one so there we go can't do that i don't think but good luck if you need to take your instrument cluster out um, and change it um there you go good luck